pretty cool. I'm sitting up here glassing just to hear bulls. There's bulls bugling like right, right below me here. And they're just like taunting me, knowing that I can't, can't go on. It's actually like 1.15 in the morning and just had couldn't get out of town early. And I really didn't want to miss my kid's bedtime. So uh, trying to be a good dad and all. Sometimes make it hard to get out of town early, but I am about ready to go uh, hunt mule deer with my bow, which is one of my favorite things in the world to do. And um, drove through the night here, pulled into where I'm going to park my, my rig. I'm gonna crawl in the back, get a few hours of sleep, and then we're gonna get up super early. And uh, I am really excited because I don't really care if I even kill a deer. Being in the mountains this time of year and just looking for deer is so much fun. So uh, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, I'm gonna be filming by myself this time. So um, you're just gonna have to like put up with like a little bit of shoddy film work here and there. And uh, I'm gonna do my best though. So I'll see you bright and early in just a few hours. Thirty in the morning, and uh, got a few hours of sleep. And I'm just gonna get packed up. Oh, I'm exhausted, and grab my stuff. And we're gonna start hiking. If I can wake myself up. Oh, all right, let's get going. One cup of coffee. Though. I just need one cup of coffee. Then it'll be good. Let me get on that.
one of the things I like to do when I'm in an area like this too is just kind of as I'm poking around, kind of assess the deer sign to see like, you know, if they're in here. So even if I'm not really seeing like gobs of them, just kind of knowing that there are deer around. And uh, I found this deer bed right here, which is super fresh. But you can see how they kind of like to scratch out. I'll show you here real quick. Kind of like to scratch those beds out like that. It's kind of a high spot, a high little flat spot. Like that, scratch that spot out where they can pretty much see and smell as many directions as possible. If there was a deer laying down right here in this bed, it would be, be really, really hard to get on because he could see and smell in quite ways around him. So, cool little spot. More elk, still more elk, tripping over elk. Elk below me, elk on the back side of me, elk on the other side of me, elk on that side of me. I'm starting to think I should add an elk tag to this area. Days like today, these, these deer are not going to be moving much when it's hot out like this, but I did catch back up there about one o'clock or so. I did catch a doe and a fawn coming down off that slope. I had been glassing all morning, I never saw them. They were coming down this bottom, and I imagine they were coming down to get water, so they need a fair bit of water when it's hot out like this. So. Just let my feet dry out a bit, got some water, and uh, I'm gonna head back up here. And uh, maybe hope for a breeze, I don't know, be nice. Get a nice breeze to keep it a little bit cooler as we'll climb back up to camp. Just came up from filtering water, came up to the top of the ridge, ducked down the other side, started picking apart the landscape, and immediately found a couple bucks better than underneath a white buck pine. <clears throat> Small bucks, nothing I'm interested in killing, but um, then a third buck, kind of a big two point, got up and rebedded <clears throat> somewhere around them. Can't, I don't have a real good vantage where I'm at down there. I was gonna go, I'm gonna go try and find a different vantage to get some footage of them. And, could be a bigger one with him, I'm hoping, but we'll see. It's always good to see deer, though. So, I'll bump up this ridge here, see if we can't get a better look. It's the uh, end of my first day out here. It's pretty cool. I'm sitting up here glassing. Just to hear bulls, there's bulls bugling like right, right below me here. I think they're just like taunting me, knowing that I can't, can't go on them. But pretty good first day. Saw what five bucks, I think. Uh, nothing big at all though. So I'm not really in a hurry though. I still got this tag. Turned to do a rifle tag later in the year and. Not really in a hurry to kill a small buck, so tomorrow I head up to see some new country, see if we can't find some a little bigger, and hopefully if they make a mistake and I can capitalize on. So I'm gonna hang out and watch these guys and see where they bed and see if they give me an opportunity to at least sneak in and get a better look. So at least we're seeing here, right?